What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to the ISO Report. My name is Ava Ani. Um, first thing I'd like to say is that I am extending the MED Blue Matte Lib Bat Neighbor Giveaway Contest. I understand people are busy. A lot of times people don't know about the contest. Um, all that I ask of you guys, especially this is for directly to my subscribers, to definitely, when you have the time between now and next Saturday, to make a comment um, about the project. Hopefully you listen to the project. Um, what do you think about my perspective on the review I did for this project? And if you could just uh, ask seven subscribers to come over and if they're really into music and stuff like that to subscribe to my channel. First, I also like to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel um, from old to in between to new. I appreciate you all because I understand that you guys are busy and you have your own life and really nobody has to come to your channel and look at you for a few seconds to talk about whatever you want to talk about. So I really appreciate that. Um, but like I said, I am extending this contest. I will hopefully, if everything goes well, announce the winner on next Saturday. So definitely um, comment on that video, uh, like that video, and tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. On another note, I wanted to talk about briefly how I got into... Uh, collecting records, excuse me, the records, <laughs> how I got into collecting records and how I got into really digging and stuff like that. So it probably was about 20 years ago. I was in college. I went to HBCU, which is St. Augustine's College. Now it's called St. Augustine's University in Raleigh, North Carolina. I would say it was definitely the best experience of my lifetime as far as pursuing my goals in the music business and stuff because I was able to work for street teams on the major labels back then um, when it was like over 25 major labels. Now it's not even like that anymore. So a lot of times the labels will send out to the reps that I were under. They would have like um, uh, promotional vinyl records that's only for DJs that probably was hard to get. And stuff like that and so I think that was the main um, thing how I got into collecting records and then when I moved back to New York uh, my sister had like a really really large collect collection excuse me of records and I wasn't really aware of it like I knew that she bought records and collected records and stuff like that but I didn't know the mass amount until I was in her basement <laughs> One day it was like, whoa, like she had pretty much everything from the classics from Stevie Wonder to Miles Davis, like records you can't really find now. Um, she pretty much had um, from traditional gospel to so just a lot of good things. So in that sense, um, that's how I really got into it because her collection was massive and we used to have like like friendly um going back and forth about records and stuff like that so in that sense i eventually started my own collection and then when i got into the music business stuff and the artist management stuff and i dealt with artists that actually put out vinyl records it was like wow this is interesting i love it you know so that's how i really got into it and then with the form of you know going shopping for records um, just the concept. I have a lot of uh, producer friends that are into um, digging for records and, and looking for some some ge some gem samples. Excuse me. Um, and I just learned the concepts of what I didn't like as far as my music preference and dealing with certain things. I, I, I would say if I was a producer, I probably would be off the chain. Well, even if I was a DJ, but. In that sense, um, that was what made me really get into uh, records. You have the collection, the covers, the artists. It's just something that's wonderful about going shopping for records. So that is definitely my thing. Um, so that's why I decided, like, this is like three, four, 
years ago decided you know what let me do a channel that's gonna focus on be it will be one of the focus on vinyl records because you really don't see women that's into records like that so that's pretty much how i got into um digging for records and i actually went recently for digging for some records and i got a whole bunch you know um this record, I don't even know who this is by. You know, it looks very Jewish. And, but you know what? I I saw the cover and I thought the cover was dope. So I was like, yo, I'm going to get this. And I haven't listened to it yet. And this is like a dollar at the flea market. So I was like, yo, I'm going to get this. And um, then I got Taste the Honey. It's another record. Love this group. Um, some Stephanie Mills. You know. Uh, what else did I get? I got Pockets. I don't even know what this is. But it looks like it's dope. You know. Some dudes on the back. So I gotta go through all these records. And yes, more likely I would do a vinyl review on them and then i got i like this cover this is donna summers the queen of disco and then the back i just love it but anyway so this, that's just a few and then i have a bunch more so once i go through all of them i'll definitely re be reviewing them i definitely i'm going to still re review the internet um vinyl that was one of my favorite projects of last year. And then also the Mint Plus 45 um, vinyl from High Water Music. So uh, sit tight for that. And thank you for viewing us. Don't forget the contest is extended for the Bad Neighbor giveaway. The vinyl LP giveaway. So I hopefully I'll be announcing the winner next Saturday. Um, I hope you have a great week. A great day. Hope all is well. Definitely subscribe, share, like this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.